Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the app called Acorn. So what this does is that anytime you go out and purchase something, it'll then take the remaining change to get to a dollar, and then it puts it into your account here. It's something that people have done uh, previously before. You may have had a piggy bank, and what you do is you take the pennies that you get after breaking some change, put those pennies into your piggy bank, and then it adds up. In this case, what this app does is it takes those pennies that you're putting into what essentially is a savings account, and then it invests it into various different um, stocks that the Acorn company actually chooses. And so what this does here is this first part here, it's actually segregated into past, present, and potential. As you can see here, since I've been using it, I've been using this probably for over a year now. And as you can see, I've put in a total of uh, over $1,800. It's paid out $5.12 for a total gain of $12.47. And then as you can see here, I've withdrawn most of that money. Top right here, it shows a, uh, the current uh, account value of over $55. Now, one of the things that you'll find about this um, is, well, I should say what I find great about this is that it actually allows me to set money to the side. And either this is money that would normally just sit into my account and I would spend it if I knew it was there. Or with Acorn, it's kind of one of those ideas of out of sight, out of mind. So what I've actually been using Acorn for is I actually just use it to store money uh, on the side so that I could pay down um, some credit card bills. Um, I've actually saved enough money to take a, like many trips. And again, this is, this is your own money. Uh, looking at the account here, as you can see, after putting in $1,800, um, gaining $17 back on $1,800, your rate of return here is not massive, uh, but that's okay. Uh, again, you can use Acorn for uh, for many different reasons whether that's saving money or you want to plan for a long-term investment so let's take a look at what the present and so right here what it does is uh, it's going to tell you what your current balance is of $55.87 uh, it then breaks it down what you've done in the past 30 days as you can see total roundups are $147.69 and then what you can also do is inside of your profile you can actually tell acorns how aggressive that you want to be with your investments so for example if you know you uh, go out and you use your debit card and pay 50 cents for something it'll then round it up to 50 cents well you can actually tell acorn i want you to double whatever uh whatever spare change it is so instead of investing that extra 50 cents you can say well i want you to multiply that by two so in this case, it would actually um, transfer over $1. And again, you can do really aggressive. You can also even say every week, I want you to deduct $5 out of my account, and plus add that to any roundups that I have. And what you can do is you can just do this continuously. So uh, let's say, for example, if you go out and buy a cup of coffee every single day, maybe that coffee might be anywhere from 2 bucks. Uh, to maybe a few dollars, like six, seven, eight dollars, depending on where you are in the U.S. Um, you can then say, I also want you to take out that exact amount per day and then just add it to your savings. And again, you can either use this to save up for, let's say, a trip. Um, you can use this to save up for your actual retirement. So what we'll do is we'll click on potential. And then as you can see here, uh, based off of the current rate that I'm saving, I actually have the potential to save $23, or oh, still going here, oh, so as you can see uh, that as you move through the years, it will actually tell you how much money that you're actually saving, so if you were to actually save it until the year, let's see, 2057, let's see what it will tell me, I have to adjust here. So if I were to save to the year 2057 at the current rate that I do, uh, it would be over $100,000. Now, again, um, there is always a possibility that you could have other investments out there that would get you a better rate of your return. In this case here, 
there's not there's not really a good chance that I'm actually going to continuously invest until I'm up to a hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, I instead I would actually just use that for my 401 would actually be a better purpose for that. In this case, though, uh, what I've opted to do is just five dollars a week plus whatever my roundups are. Um, it's a really handy way of actually saving money. Uh, you know, essentially just taking money and putting it off into an ac other account, completely forgetting about it until you actually need to use it. Uh, one other unique thing that they do have here is they have something called found money. Um, so what this does is it actually allows you to purchase items from you know various different stores and then these stores will actually give you like a cash back. So if you spend $50 here, uh, let's say at MeUndies, they would actually then give you 20% uh, back on that. So it would actually go into your savings account. So really unique way. Again, this is really just like a cash back. Uh, instead, it just goes into this unique savings account. So if you're already purchasing from some of these places, uh, such as Lyft, maybe you haven't used Lyft for the first time, they'll actually give you $25, $25 back. Um, if you purchase from Amazon, um, I've gone through some of these and they're they're mostly Amazon products so if you purchase these Amazon products they'll actually give you 3% back on that um, so that's just another way of actually getting a little bit more value for your money that you're already spending um, really unique really unique concept one one of the newest things that they have um, is they actually have their own debit card um, I'm not quite sure why you would actually use the debit card because the whole purpose of this is to save for your retirement or to at least take money and leave it off to the side keep it out of sight out of mind this way you can actually you know not not actually raid your savings account um, so if you actually do decide that you want to check this out I would recommend don't get the debit card but otherwise I've actually found this very helpful. Uh, majority of the money that I've used, I've actually used it to pay down some credit card debt. And if I wasn't doing that, most of that money, I probably would have just spent it on other silly things. Um, but anyway, what I'll do is uh, I will actually use, uh, leave my link down in the description of this. If you're interested, click on the link. Uh, it'll actually give you, uh, I believe, $25 in your account if you actually sign up using my link. Otherwise, Hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my other videos, give me a subscribe. See ya.